casting down on his trade deal with China, saying Tuesday that he chose to cancel last Saturday's planned meeting between both sides. Now, an advisor had said that the phase one trade deal struck in January was on track, but Beijing is falling behind on its purchases of U.S. goods outlined in that plan, and tensions are growing elsewhere. Washington has singled out Chinese firms doing business in the U.S. in recent weeks, including TikTok owner ByteDance and WeChat. And for more on this, I'm joined by my colleague Chelsea Delaney. Chelsea, good to have you with us. Chelsea, are there signs that the trade agreement is falling through, and what would that mean? Well, as with anything re relating to the U.S. administration, there's a certain amount of rhetoric and there's, there's a lot of different voices coming from the White House. So uh, other people within the administration have said the deal is on track. Trump has been uh, a little more cagey on that. He did say yesterday that he doesn't want to talk to China right now and that we'll have to see what happens with, uh, with this trade deal. So uh, he is sort of walking it back a little bit. And there is, there is technically reason for that. China has really fallen behind on, its, on the commitments it made in January uh, to, to buy an additional $200 billion worth of U.S. goods over the next two years. It's only bought about 5% uh, of the energy uh, products that it said it would buy. It's really behind on agricultural mm. products as well. And that's really because of the pandemic. They, they really can't be uh, importing as much as they had planned to. So th there is a reason for that. But for the U.S., it, it's another sort of stick to beat China with right now. Does either side in this case benefit from the trade agreement falling through? Probably not. Uh, if we were, go back to the end of last year, the trade war was really damaging for the global economy, for companies on, on both sides. So uh, for, for China, for the U.S., it would be really uh, not great economically if they do have to go back to a situation where they're raising tariffs, where companies are, are getting hit really hard uh, on, on, these, um, on these economic uh, issues as well. All right, Chelsea Delaney with DW Business, thank you for your analysis.